Hey there, this is Rares Fan from Simpsons.com, and here in 3ds Max 2009, I'm going to show you how to make a Pokeball. So I'm going to grab your sphere, come into your top view port, and make your sphere as big as you want. This will be interrupting. Big Fat Ellison Scrubby, there you go, you're my tutorial. Yep, there we go. Grab your sphere, come back to your top view port. Make it as big as you want. This will be the radius of the Pokeball. And I'm hold mine right there. Set the segments to 40. Turn your, on your edge faces. Convert the sphere to an edible polygon. There we go. Grab your polygon. With ignore back face and turn on. If you want to come to the top viewport and delete the top polygons. Okay. Come to your front viewport. And we'll rotate the sphere by 90 degrees to the next axis. There you go. Now while still in the front, do you want to turn back facing off with your polygon? And grab the front, the top polygons in the front viewport. Delete those. Now in the vertices, while still in the front viewport, you want to grab the top two. Vertexes on top and drag those out just a little bit with the scalar tool. Just tap it. There you go. Grab your edges, come back to the left viewport. Then you want to grab all the edges on the sphere. To do this, you grab, hold onto the control button and just grab along. Mess it up, control Z, now delete your mistake. Okay, come back to the front viewport. I'm going to drag, grab these edges coming downward. It's my fifth time to the tutorial, and hopefully I can finish it right now. Okay. There you go, grab all those. And you want to come down to subdivision surface and turn on. Use Nerve Subdivision. Now when you render this, you want to have the variation set to 3. Okay, so just turn them off for now. Grab the Scaly tool, come to your top viewport. You want to scale these down just a little bit. Scale these inward. Okay, like so. You want to scale it again. Then you're going to be looking in the perspective view to see how much you're doing it. There, just one tab it. Okay. And you just want to clone the mirror this with copy and the y axis. Or the y, whatever. I'm going to drag it up just a little bit. Not much. Then you're going to create a new sphere right now. Come back to your top viewport. Now, this part is going to be the black around the Pokeball. Make it just as big as inside. There we go. The Pokeball is starting to take shape. Now the top sphere, half might be a little too high, so you just want to drag it down just a tad bit. Okay, maybe not thick enough. Okay, worry about a little bit that later. Now you want to go to the standard primitives, extended primitives, and create a shape or cylinder. This is going to be the little uh, the, uh, trigger thing on the Pokeball. Come down to the front view port and make your cylinder. Delay it just a bit and where is it? There we go. Modify list and turn on Turbo Smooth. That one needs to add two alliterations. Long button. Come up to the top view and drag that to that front of the Pokeball. Okay. Just tap it thicker. Make it just the way you want it. Right size. 
and back on the front view port and clone this with copy. Up the new one you want to scale down just a tad bit. And the top view port you want to drag it out. There we go. Let's turn on those nerve those nerves I turned off earlier. And there we go. Now because I'm just a little laggy. Okay. There we go. Now you can always edit the triggers. You want to try to get in the middle as much as you can. There we go, that's why I couldn't grab anything. There we go. Now you want to go to rendering, render. This is for the textures and the materials. Sign render, and you want to turn on mental ray. Bam, there it is. Materials. Standard, Architect, and Design. Select Template, Glossy Finish. Okay, right now we're going to make the white. So just click Color. Just make a solid white. And you want to assign that to the triggers and the bottom sphere. Now, the top sphere, Art Design. So, Template, Glossy, and that's going to be red. So just Pull red all the way up. There we go. Now the middle sphere. Yep, going to do the same thing. Art and design. It's like template glossy, and it's going to be all black. Assign that, and got ourselves Pokeball. Really easy to do. Let's render this. See how it comes out. There you go. You can always add lights, environments, planes. Make as you wish. There we go. This is my first tutorial on 3ds Max. Hope you had a good time.